They're in the gate. And they're off. Social Mandate then Cool Carol, and she's a secret. The three of them break out on top, and it's Social Mandate who comes on to take charge, angles over toward the rail leading the way. Cool Carol's up into second. She's a secret, backs off them, defers into third. Two lengths back, Dogwoods, Millie Jane on the move into fourth. Tamara's way is at the back in fifth early. So down the back stretch run, Social Mandate and Cool Carol to go head-to-head -head with a half mile to go, and she's a secret in pursuit of them, third angling outside. Opening quarter's on the board, 21 and four. Contested pace, far turn run, Cool Carol, and social mandate still going head to head. Dogwoods Millie Jane coming through down inside of She's a Secret. In tight there is Dogwoods Millie Jane. Nowhere to go with a quarter mile to go. And Tamara's ways catching up too. They're off the turn. Social mandate short lead. Top of the stretch. Dogwoods Millie Jane dives to the rail. She's a Secret coming down the center. Cool Carol is there. Tamara's way has to weave through traffic. Was inside earlier. Outside. Back inside. In the meantime, Dogwoods Millie Jane got the jump. Opened up a length and a half. Tamara's way runs up in to second. She's a secret outside. Dogwoods Millie Jane the winner. Wins it by less than a length in the end. Tamara's way was second. She's a secret third. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good start for Wrecked Ruby. So to Puckered. And Puckard comes on to grab the lead and goes over toward the inside. Wrecked Ruby comes on to be second as they hit the first turn. Puckard out there showing the way and steps out to the length and a half. Wrecked Ruby in between right there racing in second and in very tight there. Autism Compassion down toward the inside at the slam on the brakes a few times. In the meantime, Choctaw Grace advancing while wide up into second, tracking Puckard to the back stretch run. So it is Puckard in front just under a length. Choctaw Grace is keyed up and pressing second to lengths back. Back to Autism Compassion toward the inside third. Wrecked Ruby's right there, fourth Duble in the clear, fifth by three. Jason Liam is back into six. Espede is racing in seventh by four. And Rose Darling is the trailer down the back stretch. And they walked through that first quarter in 25 and one fifth seconds. Puckered the leader. Choctaw Grace in no hurry to go by. They're one, two with a half mile to go. Puckered down inside. Choctaw Grace alongside second. Autism Compassion given more rain now. Third in trying to move up toward the inside. Wrecked Ruby's under pressure. Duble's going the wrong way. Jason Liam Espede's at the back with Rose Darling. Round the far turn. Puckered feeling more pressure from Choctaw Grace, who's dialing it up on the outside. And they're one, two heading for the quarter pole. They're now seven lengths ahead of Autism Compassion, who's a distant third off the turn and off the turn it's puckered puckered has kicked away to a three length lead stretches it to four choctaw grace fully extended back in second five or six back to the rest there's a furlong to go and puckered has built an insurmountable lead now eight lengths with 100 yards to go and expanding with each and every stride it will be puckered who saunters home to win it by 10 lengths in the end and second goes to Choctaw Grace. Autism Compassion third and Rose Darling fourth. They're in the gate and they're off. Pretty even start. Navy Cross sets out for the lead. Call me Gusto with a little bit of speed. Coastal Defense is pulled back. Sondantimo from that outside post gets a forward spot as well as they hit the first turn. Navy Cross shows the way and opening at the inside for Call Me Gusto. And he comes up on through now, so Call Me Gusto has taken over. Navy Cross is back into second. Sondantimo comes away third. Treaty toward the inside, fourth early. Master game, three wide outside of coastal defense. They're together racing fifth and sixth. And at the back early is Long Crow. They turn to the back stretch run. Long shot, Call Me Gusto. Got an opening quarter in 24 and two. Mild pressure coming from Navy Cross. These two, one, two, midway down the back stretch run. Sondantimo keeping pace with them while in the clear. Treaty's been coasting along so far, covered up fourth and toward the rail. Coastal defense is in the thick of things, fifth and only four lengths off the lead. Master game's going to get stuck wide on the far turn, too. At the back is Long Crow. They round the far turn, and Call Me Gusto gets away. Builds a two-and-a-half length lead. Call Me Gusto, now it's three, with three furlongs to go. Call Me Gusto, the leader, round the far turn. Santantimo comes on to grab second. Navy cross back to third. Treaty is retreating. Coastal defense angles out with master game. Quarter mile to go. Call Me Gusto's off the turn.
turn in front by two. Santantimo targeting him. One furlong to go. Call me Gusto trying to gut it out. Still in front of the eighth pole. Santantimo desperately trying to get by. Coastal defense is third. Final 16th now. Call me Gusto. One length lead. Santantimo's lifting late. Call me Gusto digs in to win. Call me Gusto. Took him all the way on the front end. Fending off Santantimo. Scotch No Rocks unsettled. And they're up. Scotch No Rocks stumbled coming out of the gate off near the back of the pack. Good start for my brother Keith. So two Salevo, so two generation. Creative way. Up there too. First turn in tight there was my brother Keith checked off heel. So first turn and generation for that outside post goes on to take the lead. And Salevo moves with that one but backs off. Eases into second as creative way comes on on the outside. They're second and third together as they move to the back stretch run. My brother Keith is covered up down inside racing fourth early. Scotch and rocks three wide fifth. Booster shot is sixth and only three lengths off to lead. Four lengths back to Honor Gold who's racing in seventh just dead of Gordy's label an eighth, and at the back early is Spun Sun. The opening quarter goes in 23 and 3. It's Generation the leader. Creative Way has moved up alongside and will press to the half mile pole. Salevo covered up still down inside, racing third with four furlongs remaining now. Two and a half lengths back to Booster Shot and my brother Keith. They're together fourth and fifth, four back from there to Honor Gold. Scotch No Rocks going the wrong way. Gordy's label and Spun Sun past that one. There's still a dozen lengths behind as they round the far turn. Generation tenuous lead, and now he's lost it as Creative Way comes on to grab it. Right outside the quarter pole. Creative Way heads for home in front. Booster shot comes on from the outside. In with a shot is that one as they straighten away. Creative way fully extended on a two-length lead. Generation is giving way down toward the rail. Booster shot and Salevo. Honor gold. Progress from the back. A lot of ground to make up on Creative Way, though, who has a four-length lead and is heading for the wire. Creative way to score by four lengths in the end. Honor Gold might have grabbed second from Booster's shot. Farther back, either Gordy's label or Generation. There in the gate. And they're off. Fed Stormquist. With the best start on the far outside, we call them Fun Coupons is sent on as well. Jackson D is there. So too debt paid a notorious 602 comes through toward the inside. So three of them scrimmaging for the lead, and it's notorious 602 onto the front. We call them fun coupons right there racing. Second, Jackson D's now third. Stormquist moves up into fourth. Debt paid toward the inside, fifth early. On the far outside is Waldrip in between as he's from west and outruns so far. Vino Fadanza. They're on the far turn. Notorious 602 short lead. Jackson D pushed along in second. And so too we call him Fun Coupons. Three wide third. Stormquist in behind this firing line. Just two lengths behind as they head for the quarter pole. Will angle to the outside for the final quarter mile. Farther back it's Waldrip and Debt paid. They're off the turn. Jackson D comes away with the lead. We call him Fun Coupons is right Right there, Stormquist is set down for the drive. Still second on the outside for long to go. Dead Pades now fourth. Eighth pole. We call him Fun Coupons. Digs in. Stormquist comes up alongside. Puts a nose in front. Right at the 16th. We call him Fun Coupons. Fights to the finish. Here's the wire photo. We call him Fun Coupons. Came back on Stormquist. It is tight. They're in the gate. And they're on. Good start for Mean Sue and Ball Gown. Bozarts has asked for speed. Candy Kick from the far outside is up there too as they race up the chute and head for the main track. And it's Mean Sue and Ball Gown head to head, joined inside by Wiki Leo. Bozarts on the far outside is out in fourth. Mischievous Gals in behind the leaders while fifth. Men did we stand advancing up into sixth. Kick, kick, candy Kick on the outside, seventh. And then it's my Blue Valentine at the back in eighth. But it's a very tight pack as they move down the back stretch. Ball Gown and Mean Sue, these two bandy up top for the lead. There's four for lungs to go. And Bozarts is tracking them with a three wide move. Mischievous Gal in between at the rails, Wiki Leo. Farther back in the field, Candy Kick and Mended We Stand. My Blue Valentine is at the back. The opening quarter in 23 seconds flat.
A protracted duel between Mean Sue and Ball Gown comes to the quarter pole with Mischievous Gal honing in three wide and right there as they hit the top of the stretch. A Mischievous Gal is cut loose and she sweeps to the front off the turn. Mischievous Gal's in front now. Mean Sue fights on in between. Ball Gown down toward the rail. The rest with too much to do. They're inside the final furlong and Mischievous Gal is clear by three now, and it will be Mischievous Gal from just off the pace to score by two and a half in the end. Mean Sue fought on well to be second. Ball Gown was third. Tight for fourth there. Beaux Arts or Mended We Stand. They're in the gate. And they're off. Bodenheimer breaks the best. Slow start for Johnny Unleashed. But it's Bodenheimer in front who crosses and clears. Puts Coppola in a tight spot there. Who has to come off the rail. Vulcan comes on to grab second. Coppola sent up between them. Cavote on the far outside is fourth early. Shimmer me timbers toward the inside fifth. And Johnny Unleashed is at the back. Far turn. Bodenheimer's short lead. Coppola pressing from the outside. These two, one, two round the turn. Vulcan's fallen three lengths behind in third. Cavote is racing fourth. And Shimmer me timbers is fifth. Quarter pull. Bodenheimer sent on for more speed off the turn. Coppola's right there. Right alongside is Coppola. Bodenheimer digs in though. Short lead. Coppola fully extended, trying to get by second. Wanders to the far outside as Bodenheimer sticks to the rail. Bodenheimer's back in front. Coppola continues to rally. These two to the wire together. Bodenheimer and Coppola. Photo finish. Nose is up and down. Bodenheimer and Coppola. Either one. Kavod third. They're in the gate. And they're off. Major Blue and Lark's Mischief and retained. The three of them from the far outside post are racing out after the lead. Ola Thaba with some speed as well. Giant Mischief right there toward the inside. Now in a bit tight, fourth and in behind. So down the back stretch run, retained. And Major Blue and Lark's Mischief, the three of them right across the track with Giant Mischief waiting in behind fourth. Ola Thabo's fifth to Eagles River, six by three. Bromley's seventh. Blue Light is eighth by four. Brighter days ahead, out sprinted so far. Wild quarter, 21 seconds flat. Flat. Far turn run, retain Major Blue, Lark's Mischief. A three-ply battle midway round the far turn. And Giant Mischief is right there, right in behind him, angling outside now. And Two Eagles River is moving with that one. And they are stacked five across the track at the quarter pole. Off the turn into the stretch, Giant Mischief up for a short lead. Two Eagles River is fighting on. In behind is Bromley trying to muster up a late rally. Lark's Mischief is fighting on somehow. Farther back, brighter days ahead for a long to go and Giant Mischief is opening up by two and a half flanks with a hundred yards to go and it will be Giant Mischief looking good onto the wire to win it by two and a half to Eagles River was second Bromley grabbed third Lark's Mischief was fourth they're in the gate and they're off Promise Me an Empire breaks out well, so too does Indie Label showing some early speed. Despo's Dream is there as well. Shimmering Allure from that far outside post races up to grab a forward spot too. But it's Despo's Dream up for a short lead as they make their way up the chute, up on the edge toward the inside, keeping pace. These two go head-to-head -head early. Shimmering Allure on the outside of Promise Me an Empire there together, third and fourth, and joined inside by Gold Del Mar, right up and on the pace in fifth. Indie Label from off the rail to the clear, racing up into sixth, just ahead of Wee Bit Mischief, who's back in seventh. Naughty Miss advancing down inside from eighth. Lost Love, ninth. Rockstar Doctor, tenth. Chiquita Reina, eleventh. Eight lengths back to Sterling Luck, who's 15 lengths off the lead. The opening quarter was 22 and 4, the half and 46 and 1. Pace is honest. Far turn up on the edge, trying to get away from the field. Opens up just more than a length. Gold Del Mar is right there, down inside, pushed on. Shimmering allure, revving up with a three or four wide bid. And Promise Me an Empire is coming on through between horses right there, too. In behind, it's Naughty Miss trying to come on as well. So they hit the top of the stretch. 
up on the edge, rolls off the turn. Shimmering Allure is there. Promise Me an Empire right there between those two. These three across the track. Naughty Miss dives to the rail. Wee bit of mischief trying to pick it up late for long to go. Shimmering Allure has taken the lead. Up on the edge, fights on. Promise Me an Empire is back to third. They're coming for the finish. And Shimmering Allure will score by two in the end. Up on the edge, held second. Promise Me an Empire, third. Wee bit of mischief and Naughty Miss.